Hi everybody, it's Wanda. So, I had some leftover colors that I used the other night on a painting, and I absolutely love them, so I wanna use them again. So this is that color that I get from Target. Um, it's a shimmer acrylic paint, and the color is sky. And this stuff is so pretty. It is just unbelievable. Then I had Amethyst Metallic that is folk art. I had some of this deco art lavender left over, and so I just put it in with the amethyst because I want this to all be shimmery. So I have that color, and then I have the Anita's um, white metallic that I'm trying it out because it is so reasonably priced. Um, this is $3.99 for eight ounces for a metallic paint, and with your Hobby Lobby Discount card, you can get it for $2.39 for eight ounces. That's dirt cheap. So, I want to see how this comes out. And I have mixed these thinner than I've ever, <laughs> actually. These have Liquitex pouring medium in them. And they are like so thin that I just want to see what happens. I, I just want to see if the Liquitex holds the metallics well enough that um, it turns out looking good when they're this thin. So I'm gonna start out with my white. <laughs> I think I'm gonna go in with, I, I may have a little too much. These are all mixed really thin. Ooh, that felt like it had a lump or two in it. Has been sitting here for maybe a day, day and a half. I don't know. I'm so busy. I'm as busy as a one-armed paper hanger. I don't even know what I'm doing half the time because I'm painting uh, inside of a garage walls and my door that comes in from the garage. And now I've got a French door that I've got to paint that I had put in a year and 12, you know, probably a year and two or three months ago that I never have painted <laughs> interior or exterior. So I've got to get that done and relocating peonies that were in my yard. Some people call those peonies. I'm from Kentucky. We call them peonies. So I think I'm just going to do a pour and just see what happens. There goes some lumps. Ooh, that middle turned out ugly. Should not have done that. We'll do that. Well, I'm gonna lose my blue. Ooh, that's kind of pretty up in here. It looks like sky. Hmm. Let's cover the sides then with some of that paint. Get it off of there. Oh my goodness. Hmm. This looks super pretty. I'm getting some more of that blue back to roll back down, I think. There is some of it up in here and in that corner. I'll worry about my sides later. Uh, let me see what I want to do with this. I think I want to go that way a little bit. Cause it's stretching this out up here that's so gorgeous. Looks just like sky, clouds. But then I've got this blue that's so pretty, but it's up here in the corner. It's got a weird kind of shape to it. So I don't know what I want to do with that. Oh, 
it's pulling more in this way now. Hmm. I don't know if y'all can see that. It went so fast. It was like, woo. I'm stretching. I'm just pushing the paint around here. Hmm. I can't decide what I want to do. Do I want to lose some of that blue? I think down on the bottom I do. Get it off that edge and down on that corner. That one will cover it up. I'm loving this right in here. Hmm. I hope you all can see this. stretch that out some more in that white that's moving right there in the middle. I know y'all are probably thinking, don't lose the blue. It is gorgeous. And normally I would really try to save it. But I still have bits and pieces of it I like this Liquitex pouring medium. It lets you play around. <laughs> but like I said, I don't put hardly any in there. I mean, virtually none. It's amazing how little it takes. Catch this corner over here. See how it looks. See what I can do to it. Dip into that color. One thing about this stuff, though, it is really hard to wash off. Super hard to, to wash off your hands. So definitely need to wear your gloves. Okay, I'm gonna take a back up and look at it again. Mm, I'm loving this. See if y'all can see it. So I moved the lamp. Where I'd have more light, but now it reflects four light bulbs if I hold that up for, to show it to you. So, I'm going to take the camera down and give you a close-up. Thank you for watching. Hang in there. It's only an eight-minute video. Maybe even less. Woohoo! I love this so much, I may have to do this a lot more often. <laughs> I may have just created a monster in myself. And I mean, this stuff is watery thin. You see, I had a little less than three ounces. Still got a little bit floating around in there. You can see how thin it is by the way it moves. And it covered that canvas and I got half of it in here on my puppy pad now. Okay, I'm gonna show you from kind of up high. This is what I see. I think it looks so much like sky. I am so in love with this. Look at how that blue filtered in through there and stretched around. I thought I had lost it all, but I think it was underneath. And then it came up. And so just enough white to make it look cloudy. And I think the um, there are areas where the matte may have increased the color of the amethyst. But once again, it doesn't look nearly as dark in person as it does on this phone camera. So that's kind of bizarre to me, but anyway, I guess we'll see, maybe when it dries, it'll be very close to the same color. So that would be nice. It's like you're getting a preview of how it would look when it's dry, but I am certainly loving all these details um, that are in here. So I may tilt it just a little bit to just stretch that white right there out. Um, I just want it kind of, it to look more like clouds so, I'll show you at the end. Thanks. Thanks for watching.